Hey guys, Bertis Education here and welcome back to the 3DS Max Beginner Modeling Series. And in today's episode, we're going to be giving you an introduction to uh, editable polygons inside of 3DS Max. Now, what these are, they essentially allow us to have uh, sub-objects inside of each shape and uh, select them and then manipulate them in a little bit more detail. Now, previously in the last few episodes, all I've shown you how to do is pretty much make basic shapes and then just change the height, the width, and uh, apply a basic little modifier to it. But what we're actually going to be doing today is we're going to be selecting our object and then playing around with individual little points, vert uh, points, lines, and uh, faces on that to uh, you know give it a bit more. You know, just uh, it's basically just giving you a little bit more detail, getting it into the right shape that you're looking for. So let's just go ahead and start off by creating our first editable polygon. So I'm going to go ahead and delete these objects in my scene, create a brand new box. I'm just going to click, drag, bring it up, and to make it an editable polygon, just right click on it, go to convert to, and then convert to editable polygon. And now we've got a few little uh, selection uh, options here. I'm only going to be going over the main three that you're going to be using. So let's start off by explaining a polygon. Pretty much each and every object you have is going to be made up of polygons. These are a four-sided face pretty much. And um, yeah, that, that's pretty much basically all I can say about a polygon. Uh, every shape is going to be made out going to be made out of either polygons or triangles. Uh, usually triangles once it's been brought into a game engine, but for the most part inside of 3ds Max, it's always going to be a polygon or a, uh, a polygon quad, whatever you want to call it. And these are basically the faces on your shape. So you can see at the moment, I've got a little box here, and that has six uh, six faces, just like a dice. And we can actually play around with these faces on an individual basis. Now, previously, all I I showed you how to do was just uh, pretty much globally change the height, the, uh, the and the height, the width. Um, but with editable polygons, we can actually manipulate each and every single little face uh, just how we want. Um, so I'm going to come back to that in a little bit more detail later. The next one is the edges. The edges are essentially the lines. So if I wanted to, I can bring up the line or the corner, whatever you want to call it, on this part of the object without affecting the other side of the uh, the polygon. Um, and you know, that's just one of the amazing things about editable polygons really, you know. It just allows you to have that much more control over your object and pretty much bring it into into the shape that you're looking for. So if I wanted to make like a little house or something, I might want to bring in the top two uh, top corners pretty much using the lines here and that would make like the roof uh, roof part. Now later on I'm actually going to be showing you uh, a few more things as well um, allowing you to you know extrude extrude out the bottom part using polygons. So if I go ahead and select that and then just quickly press extrude and then drag this out press OK. Uh, don't bother about following along that uh, just now. I'm going to be showing you that in a separate video. But you can see I've actually just made a house out of a basic box. Um, it doesn't look very nice at the moment. Uh, don't worry about that. And the last one is uh, vertex. Vertexes are essentially the little points and these are basically going to be the bits that really give you the fine detail. Um, so obviously the larger selection being the polygon and then your lines and the smallest selection is going to be the little vertexes and these are the little points at the corners of pretty much every single face that you have. So if I wanted to I could select one and then I could use the transformation tools on that to move it about and place it pretty much wherever uh, I so please. So you can see there I've got that little bit of extra control over my object now. Um, also, you have selection for these that I want to play around with. So there's just a few ways you can select these. So let's just go ahead and create a brand new sphere. Just click, drag and place it in there. And as before, right click on it and convert it to an editable polygon. And now if I go over to vertexes, you can see we've got all these different little points. Now selecting them one by one is going to be quite hard. Um, you can do it that way if you want to have more control. You can just click one and then hold down control and click the next one, the next one, the next one. It's going to be a bit time consuming. Or you can just click and drag to select, uh, the, to select these. 
Now, if you wanted to, you've got these little buttons here. Uh, one for shrink, uh, to shrink the selection, to grow the selection, and uh, so on. So if I go ahead and select some, press grow, you can see my selection gets bigger and bigger. And if I press shrink, it gets smaller and smaller. Now, there is one slight problem when you do that. If you go ahead and select some like that, and if you turn around to the other side of the object, you're also going to be no you're also going to notice that the vertexes on the other side are going to be uh, selected as well. Now you could go and start control clicking them to unselect them, uh, but really we've got an option for this um, if we press ignore back facing that's pretty much going to solve that problem for us because when you click and drag like this what it tries to do is pretty much select every single vertex inside of that selection area so it's going to go straight through the object and just find whatever it can whereas if i select that and then click and drag like that you can see the other side is no longer uh selected so yeah it's pretty much it uh for editable polygons i want you to try and play around with it um i'm going to be going over them in a little bit more detail in a later video but go ahead make a few different a uh, few basic shapes play around with the location uh, of your faces your edges and then uh obviously your vertexes do whatever you want go crazy um you know, that's pretty much everything, so thanks for watching, comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.